What's up guys, it's Parker Cody here. Just um, wanted to respond to the Facebook post that I made uh, that lets you guys choose kind of what uh, I can make a video about to help you guys out a little bit. Um, so the general consensus was motivation, uh, how I find my motivation and how I you know, stick with the training when it's cold out or you know, whatever uh, was posted on the, on the, on the wall. Um, so I actually recorded a video a couple nights ago and then I thought about it and I was like, I gotta add some more stuff to it. So I'm gonna kinda start fresh. I wrote a little email to myself uh, and I'm gonna go from there and um, kinda tell you guys what keeps me motivated and, and also just a few other random tips to help you guys um, with your fitness goals. So let's start with the first thing that I wrote. Um, you know, find positive role models, uh, either, you know, in the fitness industry or otherwise, but luckily, uh, the fitness industry has a lot of good, good people in it. Um, the guys that are on the covers are the nicest people I've ever met. Um, and also like the most helpful people out there. So, um, you know, not only find the positive role models, but like, you know, post their pictures up like this, for example, this is my little wall of my friends. Let's take a look at it here. Unplug this. Um, you know, everyone on this wall here is someone that I've actually, I've either met or worked with, um, here. Yeah, so I got a kind of a wide variety of, uh, fitness models on there. Um, and yeah, these are people that are all either have, have helped me or I've worked with or I've, uh, you know, become friends with, um, in the past, you know, six, eight months. <clears throat> so... I have that up there. I'm obviously inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I got a lot. I used to have, um, in my weight room when I was like 15, my older brother, we had plastered pictures of, uh, from Arnold Schwarzenegger's encyclopedia. He's actually right here too, so, uh, where is that? Right there with Muhammad Ali. So, I mean, I'm all, I'm surrounded by motivation every day. Um, I think it's totally healthy to, to post up pictures of people that you look up to. Um, and not only healthy, but, but like helpful, um, in achieving your goals. So that's one of the things. Um, also, I mean, I used to have, uh, in, in college, I used to have like training partners and uh, that was, that's helpful um, when, when you're first starting. But, uh, you know, you don't need them. I personally haven't really had one for a while. Uh, my last training partner was my younger brother and uh, that was a few summers ago. Um, he definitely helped me out, but you can also do it yourself. So if you're having trouble finding motivation, you know, get a training partner, um, <clears throat> get a buddy with the same goals as you and, uh, you know, get like work out together and get some, try to like challenge each other. Um, let's see what else I got here. Yeah. Emotions. If you're having a bad day, man, take it out in the weight room. Like if you're just like frustrated or you just need to clear your head, that's the best way to get it out. Um, you know, when I, if I have a bad day, I don't go out drinking and, you know, you know, doing other stuff. I just go to the gym and I just like get it out there in a healthy way. Um, that's that. Let me see what else. Um, yeah. I mean, also another just source of motivation is like that feeling you get when you're, um, when you're eating well and you're working out regularly, that's like, you can't beat that. That's, that's motivation in itself. I want to feel like that all the time, you know, just feel good. Um, feel healthy. You know, when you eat better, you feel better. And when you, when you're working out, your body is just like feeling feeling great. You're pumping new blood into your system all, you know, all the time. And, uh, it's just, you get the pump and that just feels like a natural sort of high. So that's another motivation. Um, I mean, me, I'm definitely, you know, naturally motivated myself. I was, you know, from my upbringing, like I was a wrestler when I was in third grade, uh, until my senior year of high school. And that just like always motivated me. Just, you know, I always was wearing a hood. I was, you know, doing stuff when other people weren't when I was in high school, you know, when I was like 15, 16, I was, you know, running the track with my older brother at like 6am when everyone else in my class is sleeping, uh, you know, stuff like that, that, you know, builds that camaraderie with the wrestling team. And that kind of made me like transition naturally into fitness modeling. Um, because I just still wanted to keep up that fitness and health, but I didn't actually end up wrestling in college. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So honestly, a little, little tip, throw a hood on, man. Like, that's what I do. Um, it's, it definitely helps me, you know, stay focused and, you know, put on some, get some good music, get a good, uh, get a good playlist going. I'll post some of the tracks that I listen to during my workouts that really help me out. Um, get me pumped up, almost too pumped up <laughs> sometimes, but, um, I can definitely, uh, post that if you guys want. Uh, let's see. Um, and yeah, realize also like, you know, 
that you're, nobody's like a machine. You just got to realize that, you know, everyone, including the top fitness models in the industry, you know, we all like, I'm not saying I am, but we all, you know, we all need to take a break sometimes and, and everyone needs to, uh, you know, take days off, take a week off every once in a while, just like take some time and, and, um, you know, let your body rest, let your body grow. So that's that. Uh, another key, key thing, probably one of the most important things is that I've done ever since I started was like, you know, keep it fun. That's the key to longevity. If you want to be doing this for a long time, like keep it fun. I realized the other day, like, um, my legs are really sore right now because two days ago I was doing a legs workout and, you know, I just do stuff that's like kind of crazy that just makes it fun for me. Like I just, you know, popped a little barbell on my back and just started walking around the gym doing, uh, walking lunges until, you know, I'd walk to the front desk around like to the locker rooms, just pretty much, yeah, you get some weird looks, but it, it's actually really helpful and it's, it's, it's good. It keeps it new, keeps it fresh. And it's also something that, um, you know, can shock your muscles a little bit instead of just doing the same old thing instead of, you know, with that exercise, instead of doing the same old, you know, lunges in the mirror, um, it's boring. Do, you know, walk around, mix it up and create new stuff. Like I, uh, and yesterday during my delts workout, I made up another exercise. I just started um, on the cable machine when you're lying down. Um, well, you can do see the cable rows, the two uh, D handles. If you just like, I was lying down and then doing like, you know, lateral raises and front raises uh, for delts. And it was awesome. You know, just come up with new stuff, be creative. That's also, um, a key, you know, key to motivation, makes, making it fun and, and seeing new results. And uh, let's see what else I wrote. Yeah, and um, another thing is, you know, take a day off if you're not feeling well. It goes, you know, back to what I was saying earlier. Like, you know, if your sign, if your body's giving you signs of you don't want to work out, listen to it. Don't try to like force it just like, just because you have a schedule written down. Like, you know, schedules are good guidelines, but you know, make sure like you you take your time off if you need it. And uh, I've done that. You know, I do that all the time. If I'm just, if I need a break, if it's kind of like too much, I'll, you know, take a day off and it actually really helped me out. Um, <clears throat> so, and finally, uh, let's see. Yeah. Don't stress over the little details. Yeah. There are guys that, that walk around with calculators and like notebooks and like make their diet so ridiculous. Like you just need to learn through your own trial and error. Um, that's what I did. I, would read contradicting stuff all the time, and I still do. Um, but what you're gonna want to do is like just make sure you know read it, try it. If it works for you, great. Keep that in your arsenal. If it doesn't, you know ditch it and try something new. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like I don't, I never count calories, mac any you know any macronutrients at all. I don't count fat, calories, carbs. Um, I gauge it in my head. I have and I have an idea. Um, but I don't have time for that stuff. I don't have time to like, you know, stress over those little details when I just know that if I, um, you know, do it approximately the right way and train really hard and have fun with it, that things are going to work out. Um, cause I used to stress over the details and that's just not the way to do it. Um, and you'll hear a ton of myths about, you know, when you can digest protein, how much you can digest per meal and all this wild stuff. But, um, on, on my website, guys, coming soon, uh, I'm going to be having some, you know, diet and workout plans up there. Uh, I'll be having some, you know, personalized stuff uh, where you guys can actually, um, you know, I'll be selling some stuff where you guys can actually call me and talk to me and I can, you know, walk you through it and get you guys in some into the best shape ever. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to keep posting these videos uh, to help you guys out. And um, yeah, so let me know how you like it. All right.